Ta-da! Don't even ask. There's far too much stuff in that van. Almost done. Hi folks, I'm up at my dad's this weekend in Stonehaven and as you'll probably see already, this isn't going to be a normal video this week. I'm going to be doing a wee bit of refurb on the back of the van. We were up in Fort William last weekend, not climbing Ben Nevis, and we stayed in the van for a couple of nights. And it was great, but we were finding that the van was getting a wee bit uncomfortable. I'm not getting any younger or any smaller either. So I've had this idea to rip out the back and start again. We were in the green welly in Tindrum and I was scribbling down my ideas on a napkin, which I've lost. But I think it's all up here. Now, as any proud Scotsman would tell you, I'm going to try and not spend any money. But I can use all this wood for the project. The general idea is that I've got two panels here, one at the back, one at the front. Now, I'm going to remove the front one, keep the back one for storage, maybe build it up a little bit, probably using these. And then that'll just open up the front half and it'll give us a wee bit more room when we're staying in the van overnight, especially when the weather's bad. So... Let's see how we get on. This could all go horribly wrong. The plan is I should be able to reuse all these screws and these little brackets. Perfect. So there we go, that big project a couple of years ago I was so excited about. This was my dream van and I've just ripped it all out. This is where I feel a wee bit nervous, so I really hope this works. Wow, this has taken so much longer than I expected. I was thinking maybe two or three hours. It's going to be seven or eight hours. I've managed to kind of fashion these, which will go over the wheel arches. I'll show you that just now. Now I'm kind of just making this up as I go along. The reason I've done it this way is obviously you've got a little cubby there, which is all I need, a wee bit more space for rubbish. So I've just got to fix these in now. And that's the biggest job of the day. But if you leave me to it just now, I'll check back in in a wee while and we'll see how we're getting on. This is a big job. So that's the basic framing and it feels all right. It feels pretty solid. Uh, I'll probably put another batten in across the middle, but nobody's going to be up here. This is just going to be for kit. That looks all right. I'm fairly happy with that. There's just not a straight edge in this van and it's been really tricky to do. With things starting to take shape, let's take a look at the final result minus a few cosmetic finishes. So here we are folks. It's a couple of days later. I'm back down in Edinburgh. I did actually finish it on Saturday. Well, it's almost there, but I was too knackered to film the end of this video. Now, one of the main trade-offs of giving us more space in the van is less space for kit, but that's kind of how I designed it. And that really hit home when I was emptying the van on Saturday. There was stuff in there that I haven't seen for two years. I have found some chewing gum. And that's one of the main things you learn from spending a lot of time in a van. Keep your kit to an absolute minimum. And if it's not getting used, get rid of it. So what I've got now is just this one shelf for kit. Got the kayak there and a couple of boxes. I figure that's going to be enough if we're away for three or four days. This box here's got all the cooking supplies in it, but one for clothes. If we've got food in the cool box and we've got dirty boots, wet jackets, stuff like that, that can all just go in the cab up front overnight. That's not a problem. I'm actually really pleased with the result considering I was kind of making it up as I went along. Opening up this space though was exactly what I was looking for to make the van a lot more comfortable when we're spending time in here. Tell you what though, it's a long time since I've slept in a mattress on the floor. That'd be back to 1997 when I lived in New Zealand. Decided the parcel shelf didn't really need to run full length. So that gave me a wee bit extra space to put in this shelf. So when we're sitting in the van in a cold, rainy Scottish morning, we've got our own breakfast bar. Now I had some old wood, so a last minute decision was to make this headboard and I'm really pleased with that, it's solid. 
there's even a wee shelf that I've put in at the back there as well. And as I said on Saturday, these little cubbies, which were an absolute nightmare to build, are going to be so good for trips, just that little bit of extra space, which you can get to from the back or from inside as well, which is really handy. I was always going to build this up, of course, but that was a last minute decision to make it into actual storage. But finally, the thing that I'm most proud of, See here it is, this is a paintbrush roll and I got it off Amazon for about four quid and from experience of spending time in the van it's for all those things we can't find little spoons, a knife, torch, even a toothbrush So that's it for today, thanks for having a wee look around my van, my wee project and this weekend we're going to be away again making a proper video at a very unique train station in Scotland Okay I'll give you one clue, it's the highest mainline train station in the UK can you guess where it is?